Crown Jewel is Saturday, and we have got Roman Reigns versus Logan Paul with Jake Paul in his corner. And presumably the whole uh, bloodline is going to be there. My guess is Roman wins. Uh, I don't know about the entire bloodline. Well, not Sammy. He's, he's only an honorary ooze. Yeah. The actual ooze will be there. And then I presume Logan Paul uh, loses, and him and Jake Paul knock some blokes out, and that's that. Do they play the videos inside the arena there or inside the stadium, the same ones that we see on the screen? Are they going to cut Sami Zayn out of all of those to make sure that Probably. the kingdom stays happy? Probably. Hmm. But maybe they, maybe they won't play. Maybe they'll play one video for the arena and the other video for us at home. Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. Which, by the way, the last time they wrestled, Bobby Lashley got injured because Brock gave him a bunch of Germans, and Lashley lands on his shoulder every time. I don't know who I. I don't want to blame Bobby Lashley, but like nobody else lands on their shoulder when Brock does these, and Lashley yeah. does every single time, and he hurt himself last time, and they did an angle a couple of weeks ago, and he took a German, landed the exact same way, so. I'm praying that Bobby Lashley ends up okay coming out of you this You know match. who else would take him like that? That he reminds me of sometimes is Rick Steiner. When Rick Steiner would get yeah. thrown around by, you know, Ron Simmons or a Butcher Eat or somebody like that, almost dead on the same way. And probably for Lashley, he's been taking him that same way with those massive shoulders for a long time and didn't get hurt. But, I mean, Bobby Lashley, we talked about his age before, deceptively older than, than what he looks. Apparently, uh, Saudi fans chanted, we want Sammy. Must have been Good. during that press conference. Good. Well, you ain't going to get him. That's too bad. But, uh, I think more people should step up and stand behind him in that thing, but, you know, that's me. Bianca Belair versus – well, I mean, they stand behind him. He doesn't want to go, so he doesn't go. No, he can't go. Well, I don't He's think he serious. wants to go. I think it's I, I think it's both sides here. Well, I wouldn't want to go there either, but, you know, the fact that they suggested he not go, in fact, they flat out said we don't want him here being a Syrian. and be, So, uh, you know, that whole situation is nasty – there's a lot about the situation that's nasty. We got Bianca and Bailey, last woman standing, which actually might be a title change, given that they switched the tag titles on Monday night. We got Drew McIntyre versus Karrion Cross, Braun Strowman versus Omos. Hmm. We have got the Usos against the Brawling Brutes for the tag titles. Alexa Bliss and Asuka versus Damage Control. This Usos thing is interesting because they're facing all these baby faces. But I don't think anybody wants the baby faces to actually win because I want the Usos to drop the titles, I think, to Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. At least I do. Alexa and Asuka in a rematch against Damage Control for the tag titles. So I guess they could actually just put the titles back on. Back and foot back, yeah. Dakota and EO. OC... Versus Judgment Day, and Bray Bray Wyatt will appear, but we don't know anything about Uncle Howdy. Jesus, can Uncle Howdy get clear? Can Uncle Howdy get through TSA looking like that? We're going to find out. Well, my guess is he wouldn't wear that mask going through TSA, but I. Oh, that's not his real face. It's clearly a mask, Mike. Oh, I couldn't help but notice on Monday. Swede Hansen did look like that. Actually, it was uh, it was over the weekend. Some, somebody sent me a, a message. They're like, did you look at Uncle Howdy? I was like, well, I saw him. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> Apparently, they'd freeze-framed it. <laughs> are you and, looking uh, at it, Brian, or are you seeing it? One of Uncle Howdy's eyes had the uh, uh, same thing that Mal, uh, Alistair Black has in his eyes. A contact? Yeah. So they were like, maybe it's Alistair. Ah, well, oh, Jesus. It's not Alistair. <laughs> no, he was there getting a branch put on his forehead by Julia Hart before he was thrown in the water, where apparently Buddy Matthews was. That's what they're saying, Brian. It's your fault. Uh, this person here says, many people think, think that that's how... You guys actually think that's Howdy's actual face? You don't see that he's wearing a mask? What? Look, the only human being, like I said, that I know that look like that, if you go through, watch YouTube of the WWF in the 80s or Jim Crockett promotions, you'll see a guy by the name of Swede Hansen, who actually used to do some battling there with Bray Wyatt's grandfather, Black Jack Mulligan. And that's kind of what Swede Hansen's face looked like until it turned green. Then it looked like the, you know, the great Muda spit a bunch of mist in his face. But there was... <laughs> Hold on a second. Go ahead. I got to ask this question. I hope it comes back. I hope and it's actually, Barry Windham himself. There's no answer, but... Or so, Mike Rotundo. 
Are you guys telling me that I'm supposed to believe that that's not Bray Wyatt and that's a different guy with that and that's his actual face? Is that what you're telling me I'm supposed to believe? Well, you can believe it's a different guy. I don't know about a different face. That's what I'm supposed to believe? Okay, listen. It's clearly at this Bo- point. Bo Dallas got a lot of surgery while he was off. It's clearly at this point Bray in a mask. Okay? Now, when when the actual Uncle Howdy comes out and takes his mask off, I don't expect it to be Bray since he's also going to be in the ring, I presume. But... Uh, you're telling me that right now, right now, when I watch Uncle Howdy, I'm supposed to believe that that's the guy's actual face and it's not Bray? Are you telling me that? <laughs> well, if you believe that, then that goes directly against all those crazy people out there who believe that Bray Wyatt's feud will be with himself and everything will take place in the cinematic universe of Bray Wyatt and WWE. I think, okay, I think... That we're supposed to think that Bray is playing one character, and he's simultaneously playing Uncle Howdy. Now, now in real life, why a guy would do that, I don't know. But I think it's fans were supposed to believe that he's both guys, okay? But then, at some point, Uncle Howdy and Bray are going to be in the same place at the same time, and then Howdy takes his mask off and is Bo Dallas. That's what I presume is going to happen here. I would like this idea a lot more with Elias and uh, Ezekiel in the WWE Cinematic Universe. I think that would probably have been much better. I just want them to also retrofit a story in because they are going through all of this work and we know who his family is and we are getting glimpses of, I'm just Bray Wyatt, the person, you know, when he's doing his promos that some of this came from the fact that from a very young age, his father wanted him to get into accounting so he could be the next IRS. And he's been going through some severe hell from that time ever since. And this person can't believe his name is Uncle Howdy. Yeah, that's his name. Uncle Howdy. Look at the names in that fun house that he had. Why Why is Uncle Howdy that big of a shot? Why is Uncle Howdy worse than Huskus, Huskus. that fat pig? There's a lot of criticism about professional wrestling. You all right over there? What's going on with you? There's up with the mic. Sorry. No, what do you need so much water for today? It's coffee. Put that away! Crying out loud, it's nighttime. You're not going to be able to sleep. Will you have to have another drink right now? God, help me. Now, where was I? People didn't like this so much, I hear. I can't even remember what I was angry about. I got a question. Is anyone else thirsty? How did I not see that? uh, You absolute... God, I hate everybody on this show. It's not an issue of whether the listeners can hear it. I don't care about you. It's about me. Sociopath. God. Me? Yeah. Now my wife is texting me, Craig. I hope you're happy about that. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.